This is just a quick tutorial on how to assemble the do-it-yourself lighting kit for the Traxxas X-Max. What you'll need to get started is the five 3D printed parts. These parts are available on Thingiverse and I will have a file in the, or not a file, a link in the description. You'll need some wire. Uh, this is just some old speaker wire that I had. Uh, the lights, I got these from eBay. They're only like a dollar per strip. This is a red strip. You can get uh, double layered or single layered like this. So you got double. These are actually the front white LEDs and these are red that I'm using for the rear light. And you just cut them down to size. You can see they have cut lines. And you'll need some gel super glue. I find the Gorilla kind works really well with uh, 3D prints. And two M3 by by uh, M3 by 12 screws for the front headlight. The screws for the back are actually the included screws in the bumper. So you don't need any screws for the back. You just need two of those M3 by 12 screws on the front. So to get started, uh, the initial wire is about 30 inches long and you're gonna feed it through the hole in the main body for the back. Fit your light into the back plate and solder your two connections. Make sure you know which one's your positive and which one's your negative. And then slide it down in. And make sure that everything fits flush. We're gonna glue that on a little bit later. But just for now, let's see how that works. Uh, for the front, I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna use a wire that just plugs straight into a litho battery. These are 12 volt light strips. I guess that's important too. Uh, they have different voltage lighting strips. Depending on how you're gonna power yours, make sure you get the right voltage. So if you're gonna power off of a battery like this, which is how I do mine, make sure you get a 12 volt. Next, uh, I'm gonna feed my power cable through first, go through the back of the main piece. And then feed your next cable through. Now, take your first little light, add a little bit of solder, fit it into place, and solder those wires down. Now it's important when you're doing this, to make these wires and solders as flat as possible because you don't have a lot of room underneath the plate. I'm gonna try and make this uh, be next to the other wire rather than directly on top of it. Next, you're gonna solder a wire onto the top light. And 
and this wire is actually going to go underneath the light strip and out the side. So fit that in there. Make sure that light goes down the wire channel and push it down in with something. This is necessary for it to fit on the front bumper. Once you get that pushed down in, find out how much wire you need and cut it to length. lights should be working now. The next thing you're going to want to do is test them because after that there's going to be no going back. So I'm going to hook it to my power and as you can see all my lights are working. So the next step is to glue these covers on. And before you glue them, just do a quick check. Make sure everything can go flush. I think you can see that. Let me do it again just in case you couldn't. And then you'll know need to flatten this down at all. Sometimes you may be able to just flatten it. Other times you may need to redo your solders. But you want to make that as flat as possible. Uh, as I mentioned, this one shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you do have to get this so that the slope goes, the slope is at the top. I cut some notches so that it only fits one way, the correct way. See, so that one's no problem. Next, you're gonna add your glue all the way around. You can add some glue to the wires as well if you want. Things don't get knocked loose while you're bashing. And push things on and hold it for a few seconds while it dries. You can see that's all held in place now. So the other thing you could do, you wanted to protect these LEDs, since this thing's pretty much permanent, is you could add some epoxy to these holes, just to kind of level it off and protect those LEDs. Uh, that'll help waterproof it a bit. The other thing you can do for waterproofing is add a bit of glue to the hole.
And then the purpose of the holes in the back of this, which will allow a bit of cooling to the LEDs. So, I will let that dry for a couple hours and then show you how to mount it to the truck. Once your glue has dried, take the two screws out of the back bumper, closest to the middle. And then you're going to take your back piece and slide it down into place. And it's actually going to snap into place. and hold itself there even without the screws. We're gonna add the screws later anyway. Next, feed the front light through there. Along the frame and through the front. Now this is just going to push into place and line up with the holes in the front bumper. two back screws. And then I add zip ties to hold the cable out of the way. <laughs> 